working down through the pack onto the cook set, which is a snow peak system, and it's living inside its uh, wee bag there. And lid, where you can put your porridge and eat that in the morning. Sponge inside Ziploc bag. We Primus stove, a micron unit slots out like that, screws in and feeds the ignition. Folding spark from backpacking light, so I don't need to worry about carrying a big spark around with me and wondering where I put it. That box in there. Inside the torch unit and upside down is a 250 unit. Took that one, plenty of gas still left in there, and I took a spare 100 unit that I've never used. I still got the uh, sticky tape over the uh, the top that I put on to mark the fact that I haven't actually used it. And finally, inside the pot is a folded down DIY. It's actually a bit of uh, an old uh, pie, I think it was. Hi. Thank you. And proceeding through the base, uh, Aladdin or Aladdin mug and insulated plastic inside. Use stuff. Use it the uh, the volume there for stuffing in other bits and pieces uh, when you're not using it for drinking out of. And in this case, um, some tuna sashes. When drinking out of it. I keep on wondering about uh, sawing off the uh, the handle, but I find it quite useful. And it's quite good. A cup of tea in there, some bovril, something like that, hot chocolate, and drink out the mug there. So lock it down. If it falls over, there's only a wee vent hole in the top there for it to uh, for any liquids to spill out of. Keeps liquids quite reasonably warm. Um, relatively cheap as well. I think about a quid, two quid from a local outdoor shop. Going through the bags, the main food bag, not waterproof, just an old freebie from a sports mag, and inside food that came back, some microwave egg, fried rice, and some dry tech. And this is uh, the wolf's fish, which I'm getting addicted to. I'm going to keep this for the, uh, the next um, trip. And that's uh, dehydrated. The container is airtight in there. There's vacuum seal. There's no spare volume. And really good food. Um, cost just under a fiver from Expedition Foods. And tear it open. Pour in your boiling water and pour the rest of your boiling water in here for your cup of tea for so you're waiting for this to uh, rehydrate seal the top up there, wait about five minutes help yourself to a cup of tea or chocolate or uh, coffee whatever your uh, fancy is and then you're ready for your main meal and other item out of the bag there is big ziplock bag this is my makings bag and inside there is odds and sods like bovril tea bags in Ziploc bags. One of the advantages of being a war gamer is all these nice uh, figure companies when you buy your figures tend to send you out um, war games figures in Ziploc bags so that's supply of Ziploc bags. Whitener to take instead of milk. Hot chocolate, a cup of soups. 
and because I've got a sugar fixation, get the sweeteners with me and coffee in an old uh, 35 mil, good grief, really old 35 mil um, container in there. And lastly, but absolutely no means least, leastly, is thumb flask with a nice little malt in there, and that's useful for adding to porridge at night or your hot chocolate or just drinking neatly during the evenings. Best not to have a, a nip in the first thing in the morning, it gets to become a habit and it's not, not good for you. For you. Put this off to one side and come back to it later on. It needs cleaning and emptying. And final bags in here. Had to stop off in uh, Sankar and topped up with uh, an extra 3-4 days worth of food. And the porridge that they had was in a, a bigger pack than I actually needed. And you're not allowed to buy par portions of packs so I've got plenty of porridge coming back with me. And the final bag inside the main compartment there is my batteries bag. A ton of uh, AAA batteries for charging my mobile phone, which because the mobile phone charge had died on me, I didn't actually require. So they're ready for the next trip. And also in there are some uh, CR2030s for the Petzl E light. Because I like having spare just in case. Again, small bag, you can squeeze the air out of it. Um, final compartment in here. In the Osprey, a nice, very nice feature that they have is being able to zip into the frame there, and inside there lived the Camelback hydration system. Goes in there, and also in there is the Survival Zone uh, bivy bag by Rab, which mentioned a few times on the uh, YouTube feed for the blog. And pack towel goes in there. If it was wet, the, uh, the towel would dry out reasonably quickly. And in the mesh compartment inside there. And a bit of twine, because you never know when you're going to need some string. That's it. That is everything. So that was about 20 kilos in total, including the food and water going away with me, and less than that coming back. A few inquiries out there about a new mat, and lighter, smaller volume waterproofs, and also a dehydrator to cut down the bulk of food that was uh, taken with me. That will cut down that uh, 20 kilo pack weight. And that was it. There's one almost empty, that was 50. <laughs>